going to start talking about uh, insect adaptations. And if you don't know, an adaptation is basically um, a special characteristic or strategy that helps a plant or animal, in this case insects, survive. So the first uh, adaptation we're going to be looking at is camouflage. And camouflage, of course, helps um, is a coloration that helps uh, an animal or an insect blend in with its surroundings. So it's not as easily spotted by predators or it's not spotted by prey and it can sneak up on prey and, and get food that way. So things like, if you think of like a grasshopper, right? Usually shades of green and brown or gray to help blend in with the grass. Um, or a praying mantis is usually green or brown to help blend in with the vegetation um, in order to uh, sneak up on its prey. So we're going to look at the master of camouflage, which is the walking stick. Now, this walking stick is not a species we have here. This is called a spiny devil walking stick. But I just want to show you guys because it's really cool. It's ginormous. Um, but even in this case, we see it's you know, that brown color would help it blend in as a stick. And it's kind of got, you know, it looks like a um, a stick that would be from like some rougher bark, which is, you know, with all its spines and stuff. So it's really cool. The ones, this is more of an example of one that we would find here, right? Much smaller, not as scary looking. Um, but walking sticks are the masters of camouflage, not just because of their shape right they have this long shape to mimic a stick um they can actually change their color a little bit so they can go from this brown color to more of like a green gray in order to better better blend in uh with that with the stick that they are resting on at the time and then not only do they change color to match the stick they also mimic the movements so if they're moving around really quick right they're still going to be spotted by predators, even though they look just like a stick, because predators are going to pick up on that movement. So they stay very still, and then when the wind comes and blows through the branches and it blows them back and forth, the walking sticks will actually sway back and forth with the branches, and that helps their um, camouflage work even better because it helps them not stand out they're going with that movement. So sometimes adaptations don't just have to deal with how um, features from the, the body or the physiology. It can also deal with how an animal or an insect behaves, which is pretty, pretty cool. So that's a little bit on camouflage. In the next video, we're going to look at an opposite strategy from camouflage. So see you guys in a few minutes.